tense moments at Stanford today when a high-profile professor involved in the attempted ouster of a judge opened a threatening letter laced with white powder. The incident forced a partial shutdown of the law school. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Marzullo has the story from Stanford. I received a card that looked like a greeting card, like a Valentine, perhaps. Stanford law professor Michelle Dauber was in the faculty lounge around 1130 Wednesday morning when she opened a seemingly innocent piece of mail. Then she read the note. Since you are going to disrobe Persky, I am going to treat you like Emily Doe. Let's see what kind of sentencing I get for being a rich white male. Dauber is chair of the recall Judge Persky campaign. Judge Aaron Persky came under fire after sentencing Stanford swimmer Brock Turner to six months in jail for sexually assaulting an unconscious woman at a party on campus. The victim is known as Emily Doe. The threatening note didn't bother Dauber. It's not her first. She posts them on her office door with pride. But then her friend noticed the white powder. And she said, you know, there's a white powder in this envelope that's all over the card. Stanford Public Safety closed down part of the law school and called in Santa Clara County hazmat officials. Students received an email to stay away. They had everybody in the, the hazmat suit with the tanks and everything. It's scary to think that like the law school is like getting those kind of threats. Dauber said she will not be intimidated. The recall is going to go forward. We're going to continue to stand with survivors of sexual assault. Authorities have not said what the powder was, but hazmat crews tested it and determined there was no health threat. At Stanford, Katie Marzullo, ABC 7 News.